are the instructions on how to fill out the OSHER uh, application. And we want you to start off at our homepage and go to your My CCS Theft Login Portal on your My Ramp Portal. So you'll enter your username and password and click Login. Once you've done that, you're taken to your resource portal and you are going to click on Scholarship Universe. Find our scholarship platform. Once that opens for you, the easiest way to find the OSHER application is to click on the word scholarship on the left hand under the dashboard area. And you should see the, scholarship, the OSHER scholarship there. If you've matched to it, it should be available for you to click on the word apply to start the application. You're taking to a screen that asks you to verify your eligibility. This information is sent from our student system to Scholarship Universe on your behalf. And uh, so you're not able to actually edit this information because it comes directly from our portal to this portal. Um, but if you have added any classes or anything is, um, has changed, it will take about 24 hours for that to be updated in the system. So what we need you to do is click the box that says I verify all information above is correct and we'll provide supporting documentation if required and click the word continue. You are then asked a series of questions that we want you to answer. We want you to answer each question. Uh, the first one, do you intend to transfer to another educational institution? The answer is yes or no. Um, if the answer is yes, you're going to indicate below where you are planning to transfer by typing in the name of the institution. And then it asks, when do you expect to graduate or transfer or earn your certificate? You would estimate a date of when you would be transferring. And when you are finished, you will click continue. You are then asked to list any awards you have received, such as honors, dean's list, any community awards or organizational awards. You would not include any financial aid awards in this area. If you have not received any awards, you can just put NA for not applicable. All right, the next box, Please list any volunteer or community work that you participated in. So if you've worked at a food pantry or you've done any community work, please list that in the box uh, indicated. If not, just answer NA, not applicable. And the same would apply for the last uh, question there. Please list any organizations you belong to. So if you're part of any of our programs at um, CCSF, list those programs there. Any organizations, maybe any student clubs, uh, if you play any sports for the college, you can list all of that in, under the organizations area. And when you're finished, you'll scroll down and click continue. All right, that brings us to our per, your personal statement. So uh, this is really important that you, you tell us about yourself um, so that we can learn more about you and um, there is a limit of 250 words. You're gonna write about your academic or uh, vocational goals and why you have chosen your selected field of study at City College. Um, so take some time to really reflect and uh, share with us your personal statement so that we can learn more about you and um, Give us a little bit of background about your interest, your employment, your educational achievements, any special needs or circumstances that you've encountered in your life. So you're going to talk about it here. If you've already written a personal statement, you can just copy and paste it into the box. If not, you can type it in. And when you are finished, you will click continue. I do want to mention that we do offer assistance on personal statements. Um, in the library. Uh, they have a resource, which I'm sure they're offering remotely. Uh, so you'll want to check out the library's uh, student success lab 
and see if uh, maybe you can get some assistance with writing your personal statement if that's something that you're looking for. And the last step to this would be to review and submit all of the answers that you've completed so far for your application. So I would review them one last time to make sure that you've, you've answered each and every question, question. And when you have, you can click Submit. And then that will submit your application for our OSHA review team to review and award.